Great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Washington State Cougars and the Oregon Ducks. And here we have our two players who are the focus of our Star Watch for today's game. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. I tell you, the starting five isn't always your five best players. That's one thing a lot of people don't understand. running into the first half. On the outside. Goes up for two. It won't fall. Guy inside, but the four people on the perimeter better be able to make perimeter shots. And it's great when you got a big guy who has the multi -tip. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shows. Play more up tempo. The coaches feel that this is the style that they need to play and will work for them. Definitely something for us to track moving forward, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. They look to get it to the inside. The coach giving some direction as his team gets into the offense. Nails a sweet jumper. Number 24 picks up the foul. First team foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure it was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Something on a whole other level. There are a lot of challenges you have to meet if you want to keep your balance and be successful. Gets two at the charity strike. Dumps it in. He strokes it. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Looking for a good shot. For two, he nails the shot. Trying to pack it inside for the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. The Ducks coaching staff feels that the current tempo is right where they want it. The frantic pace and high-speed offensive and defensive attack is how they play. Some may call this style a run-and-gun style. It requires fit and... And we got a whistle and a foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He says that his team is going to be looking for him a lot more. It's the second shot. 17 feet apart. He attempts a jump hook, off the mark, goes in. A lot of emotion. Inside, blocks the shot. Number 31 is seemingly at an emotional. Goes up with a shot, knocks it down. Two minutes left on the game clock. From beyond the arc. Dick, they really need to get something really having a good game here tonight. I tell you, he's been awesome. All over the court, making it happen for his team. Let's see if he can keep it up and get the W to go along with his great individual performance. On the left side. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. jumper and come up short he puts it up at the horn no at the end of the first half the Cougars are down by eight Oregon really did a great job of collecting the boards in the first half Dick hey collecting the boards and canceling out second chance opportunities they've been performing
like a full court man to man press, Mr. Vitell. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries to get the D to bite. He's too important to this team to be picking up fouls like that. Experience is so important, Brad. See situations and knowing how to react to them correctly and quickly is a great, great thing. seconds left on the shot clock. Tries for two. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Buries it. Hey, look out below, baby. Oh, my. Number 34 is charged with the, the layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. it in. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. Williams handles the pass. He wants a three. He misses the jumper. Great shot. It's left on the game clock. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. You can't forget about them. The witty rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. And it's Drift. Active hands. Now on the run. Kicks it out. Number 31 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a first. Solid junior, Dick. He's been around for a couple of years now. He knows what he's capable of bringing to the team. This is the year when players start to transition into more of a leadership role and help get the most out of younger guys on the team. Got to make the freebies. There. About six minutes remaining. There may be a pick and roll here, Dick. You've got to love the pick and roll, especially when it's run to perfection, Brad. Knocks it down. Williams handles the pass with the J and score it. Gave it up. For the bucket. Oh, yes. He's too important to this team to be picking up fouls like that. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. Second shot, good. He tries the jumper, scores it. As we continue to track the game's tempo, it's a fast break possibility. He throws it up from downtown, nails the jumper right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Tries for two. Nice shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. He pulls up with a jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. With a bucket. He buries it. Takes a medium range jumper. Scorches the net with a J. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. The Cougars with the push. Tries for two. He makes the shot. Launches the three. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Comes up empty. Well, we've got a second. Let's take a look at two individuals selected, Dick, as our players of the game. They were both great to watch all game long. Their coaches and teammates have to be happy 
what they've done out there today.